Welcome to the final step in joining the Mackland Volunteer Yahoo group. We're just going to kind of go over the site and the settings that you can do when you first sign up. So we are at yahoo.com. Again, your screen is probably going to look different. This is my news of the day screen. But up here in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see a sign in button. So we're going to go ahead and click sign in. This is the screen that is going to come up. In our previous step, we have created a Yahoo account. So we're going to type that in. It was Kelly Smith 123410 at yahoo.com. Our password was Kelly1234. Again, before you hit sign in, down here is this little box that says stay signed in. If you're on a public computer, like at a library, you're probably going to want to uncheck that. What this means is if you check it, it's going to keep you logged into that email address all the time, and you don't want that. If you have a private or personal computer where you do feel comfortable always, being, always having your Yahoo account signed in, you can go ahead and click that. Otherwise, I would uh, definitely not for security reasons. Okay, we're signed in. We know we're signed in because again, up here in the upper right hand corner, we can see our name, Kelly. What we're gonna do now is go to mail. Even if you don't use this as your uh, normal email address, your primary email address, this is where we're gonna need to go to get into the Yahoo group. Okay, so here I am in my Yahoo mailbox. I did go ahead and zoom in. As you can see, I've received two new messages, and this is what you're going to need to look for to see that you are approved. One is from HSM Volunteers Moderator, and one is Groups Notification. As far as I can tell, they're pretty much the same email, so we'll just go to Notification, but you could go to either one. As you can see, it does say that we have been approved, so that's what you're looking for. You're now officially part of the Humane Society Yahoo group, so congratulations. We're just going to take a look at this email here because it does have some important links. Okay, first off, this is the link that's actually going to get you to the physical Yahoo site of the volunteers. So we definitely want to keep that. If you do uh, sign in all the time. If you stay signed in, you can just type in groups.yahoo.com and your group should automatically come up. Otherwise, you can take this link and you can paste it into your browser or you can create a, a link, a bookmark, a hyperlink, whatever you want to do to make it easier. This second one is the email address of the group. There are two ways to post to the group so everyone can read your post. The first way is physically on the Yahoo site and we'll go over that. The second way though is if you send an email to this address. You can send it from any email that you want, whether you, your primary email is Yahoo, SBC Global, ATT, Hotmail. As long as you send it to this email address, you will be able to post to the entire group Please remember when you're doing this though, you're not emailing the moderator or you're not emailing a certain person. It's going to everyone, so everyone will be able to read it. If you do want to email just the moderator, that's the third link down, hsmvolunteers-owner at yahoogroups.com and that will be a private email just to the moderator. And the last one is if for some reason you want to unsubscribe. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click this first one so we can see the actual Yahoo site. Okay, once you hit that link, this is what is going to come up. This is the HSM Volunteers Yahoo group, so you are in. I just want to point out some features on this first page. When you initially get on your browser now, you should be able to type in groups.yahoo.com. You can also bookmark this page if you would like. If you've clicked say, stay signed in, it's going to come automatically to this. Otherwise, you might have to go again up here to the top right and re-sign in. But eventually, you'll get to this screen. 
Over here on the left is going to list some options for groups in general. If you can't for some reason see this, you just want to go click on this HSM Volunteers and that will also take you to this site. So if you see over here, you can click on that also. All of the new messages are going to be listed right here. You can click on any of the blue links and the message is going to come up. Whoever wrote the message, their name is going to be on it somewhere. And then in this case, this is a message regarding who has signed up for certain days. This, uh, the proctor usually sends around an email like this twice a week so everybody can see what time and what day they're scheduled on and also how many other people are going to come in. So this is a very important part of the Yahoo group. There's also notes from people covering dogs uh, and their attitudes, their things that they like, things that can help with getting them in or out of their kennel. This one happens to be from our enrichment crew. The enrichment crew comes in twice a week right now, but we're hoping that it can be more in the future. And they just work with the dogs one-on-one. -on -one. So this is a great email just telling a little one-on-one -on -one information about the dogs. If you can't see, if you can only see a certain amount of messages and you'd like to see more, in this case it's only really showing three, we can go up here right beside where it says new messages. You have a see all link. So if you click on that, you'll be able to see all of the conversations, usually within the last seven days, but it could be longer. Some of the uh, posts will have attachments, such as this one right here. This is an attachment that is a PDF, so everyone should be able to read it. It's going to show all the dogs and cats and critters that were adopted within the past week at this location. So if you double click on it, it will automatically open a PDF and you'll be able to see that. There's sometimes, there might be some other things uh, such as Word documents that are attached, but normally those are the only attachments, PDF or Word. If you go up here in the right hand section, you're going to see a button that says new topic. This is if you want to post something on the Yahoo group. So again, please remember that this will be seen by the entire group. This is not private. So you write your subject, you write your message, and you hit send. And that will post it to the entire group. You can also post photos, files, you can do an attachment which is and insert a link which is right there there's the attachment it's the little paper clip um, so it's very much like email in that way so you just click the send when you're ready to send to the group so once we were done with that we click the back button and now we are once again on the main Yahoo page what we're going to go over next is how to add an alternate email there is a way to have all of these postings go to a different email address than the Yahoo one. If you do plan on using your Yahoo address, everything is very easy. All of the posts are going to go right here in your mail envelope. However, a lot of people have other email addresses, whether they are ATT, SBC Global, Hotmail, so we're going to go over how to tell the computer that that is where we want all of our postings and emails from this group to go. So the first thing we're going to do is come over here to our name up here at the upper right hand. We're going to click on it and we're going to go down here to account info. You're going to end up with a page like this. Over here on the left, there are several options. Personal info is where we're at now. Account security will allow you to change your password. It'll show you uh, any phone numbers or anything else you've added to this account and you can change everything there. Recent activities and subscriptions I don't work with uh, very much. Preferences you can go in and just kind of look around. Right now though we are on personal info. We're going to come down here to where it says full name and we're going to click on our name. Okay, it's going to have me sign in again. Sometimes it'll have you do that, sometimes it won't. That's why I keep saying you got to keep that password. 
around because when the computer feels like it, it's going to have you sign back in. This is the page that's going to come up. This has all of your contact information. As you can see, it has already filled in my name. Also, on the next line, it has my Yahoo Mail marked with primary, and this is what we're going to change. So, where it says email one, right below that Yahoo, we're going to have you type in whatever email you actually want to use. In my case, I'm going to type in Kelly Smith at yahoo.com. Then we're going to come down here. I've tried to do this once and it told me that I had to enter a postal code. I don't know if it'll do this for you. Basically when you hit save at the bottom, if anything comes up with red on that same screen, it means that that's required. So we're going to go ahead and put in the zip code. In this case I'm using 63110 because that's the zip code of the Humane Society, but you can put in yours. And then down here at the bottom, we're going to click Save. Okay, we are back on the main screen. What's going to happen now is you should open a new browser window. A quick way to do that would be File, New Tab, or New Window, whichever one. I usually just do a new tab. From here, you're going to need to go to your normal email, whatever primary email you just told it you wanted to go to. Basically, what it's going to want you to do is verify that that was your email address. So it's going to send you an email that says, we need you to verify this email address. So go to whatever it is that you put in and sign in like you normally would. When I went to my primary email address, I had an email waiting for me from Yahoo. I clicked on it and this is the screen that I got. It tells me that the alternate email was added to my account. I did cover up my real email address with my little postie. The important thing is please use this link to complete verification. The link is what is in blue. So we're going to click on this. This is what I was talking about. They need verification that this is a real email. Now that you've seen this screen, thanks your email address is now verified. That means you are ready to go back to the groups page and make sure that they know that this is going to be your primary address. So you can either go back to the other tab or you can type in groups.yahoo.com. Again, we're at the main page. We're just going to go the way we did before. Down your name to account info and hit your full name right there. Just go ahead and click on it. This is the screen that's going to come up. Again, you can see your primary emails at the top, and then you typed your secondary email that I'm once again hiding. What we're going to do is come over here right beside where it says primary. That's the one we're going to want to change. So, on this screen, let me get my little posty positioned. Down here at the bottom, it says manage your email addresses, and there are two now. Instead of clicking under the set as primary lead, there are two little circles. Click the circle and make it, it'll turn into a black dot next to the email address you would like. As you can see, it says, these are the email addresses that Yahoo uses to communicate with you. So we want to click the circle and turn it black of the one you actually want them to communicate you, with you at. And then we're going to hit the save. After you click that save button, this is the screen you should see. As you can see down here now, it should say primary and it should point to your email address that you would like to get emails to. 
what that means now is from now on, wherever you want to have your email or the posts sent to, that email address is going to be the one. So whatever it says primary, that's the one you're going to get these posts on. So I am just going to go back up to the main page, groups.yahoo.com, up here. Go. And that concludes our tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at petpals, that's P E T P A L S, all one word, all lowercase, at H S M O dot O R G. Thank you very much, and thank you for becoming a pet pal with the Humane Society of Missouri.